it is not a beautiful day in terms of weather. However, we are alive and in good health. And moderately attractive. I'm going to Liverpool. Spray with Ryan. Fuck! <laughs> the weather is fucking pumping here, man. Yes, look at the skies, man. This is my workplace. Check that shit out. This is the dam from Tommy B. Hot, hot, hot. 27 degrees. This summer is gonna be fucking rude. The weather is not ideal at all, man. Just wrestled with a fucking umbrella. However, it's alright. We're not gonna let it get us down, are we? Because that's what fucking losers do, man. No, when people are like, oh, it's raining, it's such shit weather. I'm gonna fucking whinge about it. Move country then, cunt. That's what I'm gonna fucking do. Alright, this is the score. Starting off this abstract lean episode. Gonna vlog a little bit more, and like, I think last episode was like loads of montage y shit, just slamming music over everything, but I'm just gonna chat a little bit. Yeah, just gonna chat a little bit more. Get a little bit more personal. Everyone asked me where this jacket's from, right? I got it for about 20 quid from Urban Outfitters about a year and a half ago. In a sale. I just wear it like all the fucking time, man. Just slick, innit? It's just a slick material, man. And also, it looks sick with like hoodies under it, so yeah. Don't know if they'll still be worn in Urban Outfitters, but there'll be something similar. But it won't be £20 because it won't be in a sale anymore. Anyway, what I'm saying is, I'm gonna like talk a lot more and like vlog actually like it's gonna get like personal and shit me and you my face is getting a little bit leaner which is good because I, I look like a fat dog when I'm actually like above about 10% body fat um, because my face is an absolute hound uh, it looks like it's made us fucking pizza dough so going to Liverpool training with Ryan he is competing on Sunday and so we're gonna, he's, he's just gonna look silly shredded man, his fucking back is insane. Um, after that, don't know what I'm gonna do, maybe mill about Liverpool for a bit. Don't know, get a fucking burrito, down me neck, all that kind of shit. I gotta go get petrol, I'm gonna get a monster as well. So, I will pick up in a bit, kids. Ryan's eating rice cakes. What up? Loves being a bodybuilder man. And I'm already buzzed off me absolute tits on caffeine, but what I'm gonna do, look how tanned I look, man. What I'm gonna do is uh, get some more dark chocolate called coffee beans. Oh shit, they might have them in there. They definitely have them in there. Mate, this is expensive pre workout. You can tell I'm making it, can't you? When I'm going hotel chocolate for me fucking pre workout. Mate, I'm on that making it hype, right? We're doing it. Pick up soon. Right, so there's only massive bags, so we're gonna get some from somewhere else because. I'm the kind of guy that can't can't eat half or something, man. So I'm gonna find some more somewhere else. Hopefully a smaller portion. Yeah, come and get lively. Feels mom. <laughs> mom. Real good shit. Joe Delaney forgot a vest, it's not ideal. However, this guy didn't touch shred though. Yo peeps, this is gonna be working set number two. We're gonna go for eight reps, incline dumbbell press on 42.5 kilograms. Should be manageable. Silly that. Right, I'm on set five of five, I've hit four, set to eight with 42.5k. I'm going to try and get this last one out, but not too hopeful for it because I only just got the last one out, so let's do it. The 
it's the only just. But that's a good thing, it means pace yourself well. Try not to like change weights too much throughout the sets because if you're having to drop down after your first set or second set, which means you didn't pace yourself and you went too heavy in the first ones. So that's pretty much bang on perfect now. So go up next time, just by like the minimum increment. So yeah. Okay, next up we're gonna do some incline cable flies. Now these are literally sick exercise, man. One of my favorite exercises actually, I just don't tend to do them that much because um, the gym I train in isn't great for them because the cables aren't that like, smooth at the bottom. Let's have a look. Yes, mate. Delts and <laughs> mate, delts and shoulders. I mean, delts and traps from real. Come on, more witch fire than I. Yeah, loads, lad. Okay, we are done made absolute menaces of ourselves, everyone's like, who are those lads, they can fix themselves, but you know what, you can do what you want, oh light's sick there, um, I'm going to finish up, get out of here, get some food, uh, that's it man, I'll just, I'll just keep vlogging, light, uh, everyone get on Ryan's channel as well because, like, I don't really shout people out much, but legit, Ryan's a good guy man, legit, like, anyway, talk about that later. Yo people, so we just finished up in the gym. We're gonna say see you later. Ah, oh, it's fucking windy. We're gonna say see you later to Ryan. He's competing on Sunday, so let's all say good luck, Ryan. Hopefully we'll catch up. That here though. We'll so uh, next time you see him, it'll be after he's competed. Might I might even go, but yeah. So that's it. My face is getting leaner, man. Check it. It's pretty much the main reason I. Uh, I, right. I cut to get a lean, bony, fucking yeah. chiseled ass face. Yeah. I. Uh, it's shit weather, man. But we don't mind. We like it because it's fine. Because it. It's cause not. It's not shit. It just is. No, because you can perform in this. You can perform in anything, guys. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. R.I.P. Greg Clit. <laughs> Legend, man. Much respect. Legend, to my the guy's passion for life is just insane. Well, man. Probably like How the single most respected person in my eyes, or like person I respected the most in the, in the fitness industry. Speak up, cause it's heavy. We sat pre gym monsters. This is like back to our roots, man. If you watch the original Delbros videos, it's what we used to do, man. Just sit here and chat shit. Just roll it off the cuff. Yeah. So, I'm gonna travel loads this summer and just get some good, sick vlogs going. Like, let's see, my motivation for doing like a lot of stuff, it turned into like, yeah, I could video that, I could vlog that. Sick, man. But obviously, these days, I'm just sat in my fucking house, like, just, I've just got like two or three weeks left, and then shit's gonna kick off, get a fucking major, go see Tommy B in the dam, just fucking. Shit's gonna get lively, man. Yeah, man. But sometimes you need to go through a period of focus, don't you, to, to earn that? Because I, I've been like fucking around partying, traveling oh, so it much. Tastes sweet. You, you need when to it earn that, like man. Earned like it, not yeah. just, but you know. Also makes for a better work-life balance because, as well. Well, you need to set up for that as well, yeah. don't you? Because you, you're not able to. A, you need to be able to facilitate it. You need to be able to carry those kind of losses, like money-wise and shit like yeah. that. B. You need to feel like you've earned it because it just tastes so much fucking sweeter. And see, like, you just can't live like that unless you're fucking Dan Librarian. Bill, Dan Bill, Dan Bill, Bill, Bil Bil Dan Bill, Dan Bill, Dan Bill, Dan Lego Beard face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dan Bill, 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 Dan Bill,
It's a motherfucking beautiful day again. Dalbros are heading out for some active rest. I'm gonna go for a nice little walk in Wales, man. See some scenery. The coffee's in hand. In fact, I'm gonna drive, so let's see you by the car. We love shirts. We love being outdoor, shirty, wearing <laughs> amateur Whoa, walking, yeah. jean wearing motherfuckers. <sighs> I've got a fat lip. I don't know why I'm going to the hospital tonight. Yeah. Alright, we're going out. Is, where are we going? We're going to Aber Falls in Wales. Cool, man. It's fucking next level weather. I know, me. Let's fucking go, yeah. We're gonna get a loaf of bread. Do we get a loaf of bread? Let's get a loaf of bread. Bread is. Bread's a staple, man. If you're walking, you need something doughy. Secret to getting good sunglasses is don't get good sunglasses because you lose them. Just get shit ones, and then when you lose me, don't give a shit. You just get more. These are shit. I'm shit. I'm a shit guy. Where's Mike with the bread? Where's the fucking bread, bro? That bread. Dun, 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 dun. The bread we Sunflower, on? right? And wasn't that through the selection, oh, mate? Sunflower honey butter. That's not, that's not freshly fucking baked, is it, mate? Nah, you see, I want some was, freshly baked shit. There was a, there was Parisians like, but they were big fucking long ass. We should gone somewhere else. Plain white, like. We have to get something new. And there was uh, we're gonna have to get something freshly baked. Yeah. I mean, there's tiger bread, but tiger bread's just plain ass. Nah, no, yeah, we'll have to go to the cop. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I want freshly baked one, only the best. Right. I mean, these are nice. Like. They are nice, like, but fresh. It's the crust, man. It's all about the crust. Mm, yeah. I right, will go go somewhere else for bread if you want. Okay, let's do that. Treats at home for bread. Yep. Any uh, initial momentum we had for this day has uh, is in danger of evaporating because it's that traffic, man. There's few things in life that piss me off as much as being sat in fucking traffic. Is he wasting life in it, man? You literally are, unless you've got decent shit to listen to. Like this is what this is where audiobooks come in and shit like that. Audiobooks, yeah, make the most of every minute of every day. Nah, but really, <laughs> you know. Yeah, this is a big fat slag of a traffic jam. I'm gonna fucking, I'm mm. gonna swerve it and go on a hard, hard shoulder, man. Yeah, we're gonna hard shoulder. We're gonna hard shoulder. Yeah, yeah. hard shoulder. Part two, bread acquisition. We are on a pilgrimage for bread. Where? We're on a crusade for bread. There's a, there's a bakery somewhere. Empty handed, why? Um, well, they just had like sourdough and white type shit and OT type shit. All right. Nothing with any. Nothing with the needful flavour. Love them in the bin. Can't reach that bin from here, We'll open the fucking door then. Saying they're the best ones, one. Do you know what else is sick though, mate? Those cinnamon buns. Okay, let's get bread. I'm feeling a Mediterranean, man. Yeah. Cranberry. Calamar is sick. Cranberry, sunflower, and pumpkin. Nah. Mediterranean bottom right, or no, second to bottom? No, second to right, yeah. That's the one. Mate, you smell it. Oh, I can smell it from here, mate. Oh, mate, that's naughty. Let's go. Let's leave now. Let's leave now before this gets worse. Pass me the red. Smell that. Mediterranean loaf from Tesco. Mate, it's one of the best. It's one of the fucking best. If you got the fat as well, you wanna like be dipping some fucking naughty little hummus in it, or perhaps uh, get some like sun dried tomato and like olive and like mozzarella and shit on there. Naughty little anti pasty board gets you a bird. Also, look at this bear grill shit. Got beetroot. That's the best one. One of my last videos I showed you the shredded chip. This is the best shit. Expensive though, 150 a pack, but 
It's bare no expenses, man, because I fucking made it, haven't I? Bear grill shit, right? No forks. Wooden stir a thing. Snap that shit like that. Yeah. Fucking Fuck. Shit. Right, open that shit like that. Smell that. Just stab it, mate. Got a nice little fucking beetroot lollipop. Yeah. Oh, mate. Oh, fuck. Wow. That's a shit, man. Oh. That's how YOLO I am. Abstract amounts of petty, man. It's basically fucking put the pump in and close my eyes, man. That's how fucking. That's how YOLO I am. Absolute quilt. 26.57, lad. Oh, that's crazy, man. No one's man. putting 26.57 in the car, man. No one's doing this shit. No one's doing this shit, man. Show, show me someone else, man. Show me another fitness YouTuber who's doing this shit. Yes. Well, everyone's doing that shit. <laughs> Un unnecessary <laughs> amounts of caffeine. Close up on that banana, man. Let's get a banana in the sun. It's a cheeky This is life. This is life in that shot right now. So as you might notice, I'm a massive fan of nature because I feel like I have to experience it often so I don't go fucking crazy, man. The same scenery just causes me to be restless, man. It's just too much routine and too much of the same that our surroundings just causes utter restlessness and coming out experience of it in nature literally just makes everything better doesn't it? it actually like I'm pretty sure it makes everything better apart from like terminal illness and shit and AIDS oh, chlamydia that river there it, it's like picture picture that river as, as your like cortisol and it's just like washing away. Fuck that shit, man. Nah, seriously though. You love a fucking metaphor, you. That's cheesy, that. It's not cheesy, is it? I think that's cheesy. I think it makes fuck, sense. lad. Is it? It's flat past bag, bread of fucking clock, mate. It's fucking loaf time, man. That waterfall, though. Cheeky cunt, mate. Oh, lad.
Right, people, you might have noticed that I've got a fat lip. Um, and I went to the hospital yesterday, and they said it's a blocked um, saliva gland. Uh, and I can get it operated on, taken out in July, but it's now only just May. And I don't want to wait that long with a fat lip, so I have acquired this. And I'm now going to try and just pop it, because there's some fluid in there. Don't try this at home. Oh, look at that. Oh, you were gonna. I thought you were gonna try and get one that like had this, like a thing on it that you could draw out with. That sound. Oh, mate, it's a weird consistency that. I've got a shit out of air, me. So, so I. The operation went well. Well, now the plan for the rest of the day is go hit a pull session. And then I've got a bit of work to do, and then I'm gonna go chest out because I swapped a little appointment around. I'm gonna get some tattoos touched up and shit, little bits added. So I'll pick up with that soon. Maybe I'll show some back, back, pull, pull, not back, pull. Mum's gonna be so mad. That's what happens when you're not asked about your little bro. You just let him get tough stickers and that. She's gonna be fuming. Dog. She's getting weird, man. She's getting edgy. Naughty little place there. Tommy B. Big shout to you, son. Jerry D. Shout out to Sean for hooking a brother up with some more abstract shapes. Get down to um, Crown of Thorns and Chester if you want to be an abstract little cunt. Uh, that's it. I'm gonna show you. I'll show you this shit when it's healed because it's wrapped up now. So Mike's got a sword. Mike's got a sword. Yeah, Mike's got a sword. What was it? It's what you call a shaggy fucking head. Right, now we got a bit of daylight and uh, there's no blood left on it. I'm gonna show you this tattoo. Mike, will you grab this? That's it, yeah. So it's more abstract shit, lads. Um, basically, I just wanted more shit putting on it and I just wanted some like, strange abstract shit on my arm that people would look at and think, fuck, does that mean there's rat shit? There's a rat in a fucking garden. Shit. Cheeky little cunt. Someone tell fucking Shredder where Splinter is. Do you want me to go and beat it? Nah, mate. I'm vegan. It is actually it's pretty sound, isn't it? It's only the tail that's disgusting. Alright, also I got some lines redone on that because last time I actually, when I actually got it done, I think I pretty much <laughs> that hair though. I pretty much went away um, straight on holiday, straight in the sun, and just completely shagged it, and it's like it, it faded and shit. So now it looks edgy again. Now I've got a bird on my arm. Cue bird on arm jokes. Cue you're a fuzzy headed bastard jokes. Look at that shit, man. It's ridiculous.
us. All right, a few things I want to say. Number one, do not operate on yourself. Do as Joe says, not as Joe does. Joe's a bad example of a human being. Um, don't operate on yourself. Don't stab yourself with stuff because it's, it's just a just a silly, just a res irresponsible thing to do. Uh, just don't do it. Okay. Also, that needle that I did stab myself with, I'm actually not on trend. Um, I acquired that off a friend who. Anyway, uh, yeah. Also, uh, everyone's been asking for it, so. Here's a link to a playlist of a load of fucking naughty tunes that Joe Delaney just sat and put together because he's a nice lad there. So enjoy that shit. What else? I think that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, next episode, I'll make the final episode, I think, of this series, which just turned into vlogs. But I'll talk a little bit about like my experiences on higher carb cut and lower protein all that kind of shit um, all that's left to say is see you fucking later buy all my shit use all my fucking like discount codes on shit um, generally gives all your money because I'll use it for horrible causes see you later shaggy headed cunt oh here's Tommy you being the dam just outside the pen Doing some fucking vibes, look at that church. That bell doesn't shut the fuck up. Yes now, Tommy B in the dam, sat me joke. Whilst on board. They were like uh um, international menthol seeds. Joe Delaney is my hero!